What's going on YouTube? This is gonna be a really quick one. I figured since last week I put out a one week recap that like I should probably do that again. So this is gonna be four weeks until the Wilmington full marathon. Let's jump into the intro and I'm gonna tell you about my week so far. All right. <laughs> I also thought I would show you guys my uh, Sir Walter mug. Okay, so Monday, we jumped right in with a three miler after doing the long run the previous Sunday. So the beginning of my week, Monday, three miler at a nine minute mile pace. Yes, that's correct. Jumping into Tuesday, we did five miles at an 8.31 pace. So we're getting into things pretty darn well there. Jumping into Wednesday, Wednesday was a two part series. We did three miles at lunch, and then I believe I did 5.2 in the evening, giving me an 8.2 day. That was a really good high mileage day in the middle of the week. Might not be high mileage for the average person out there, but that is high mileage for, for yours truly. Moving on to Thursday, we picked up another three mile. Whoa, 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 whoa. I take that back. Thursday, Thursday I didn't run. Um, I was feeling kind of sick. I pumped the vitamin C and just decided that would be my Thursday. Moving into Friday, tempo day. Friday was a five miler. We warmed up 830 mile and then we jumped in. We did a 720, another 720. Let me check. A 713 and then a 659. So my tempo day was great, but that's enough about the tempo runs. Let's move on Saturday where I did nothing. I shot some engagement photos for some friends of mine and that was it, another rest day. So technically I rested for two days this week. Not ideal, but it's how things went. Then boom, today. Today is Sunday and we jumped into things this morning with a 12 miler at a nine minute mile pace. Um, that being said, that also had about 450 feet of elevation gain. Um, let's actually be specific there. 449 feet of elevation gain. Then I had to jump in and shoot some interviews for work. So business took over for a couple hours, but then I got back out there and I did a five miler. It was just about nine minute mile pace again. I think it was like 857 and 269 feet of elevation gain on the afternoon five miler, making my grand total for the day a 17 miler, but also we got 718 feet of elevation gain. I'm pretty happy with that. I know it's something I talked about last week in my recap that actually just came out a couple days ago. My, my marathon coming up in about four weeks has about 450 feet of elevation gain. That was a little bit more than I thought was in it. Classic Kyle, don't know what I'm signing up for, but um, so yeah, um, I put a little bit more emphasis on the elevation gain um, today. Be it, I did split up my long run into two portions, only 17 miles um, as opposed to the 18 I did the week before, but I did get over 700 feet of elevation gain. So I think that is a really good exercise in preparation for the race. So I didn't hit 40 miles this week. That's totally fine. I hit just over 38, four weeks until the Wilmington full marathon. So without further ado, please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Oh, one more thing. This is actually the last thing. The FOD runner, Andy Rayner, he gave out some huge love after I put out my recent video. He went and put a little bit on his Instagram story, which was super kind. He gave a huge shout out, and I actually picked up quite a few subs from it. That being said, I'm just saying the running community right now, all hail getting along. So let's keep doing that. We're gonna wrap this video up. That is my four weeks until Wilmington full marathon. All right, everybody, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. See you in the next video. That's all. That's it. We're done. <laughs>